Hi everyone, it's Gina with Dancing Easy Designs and today I'm just gonna do a quick craft. I want to recreate this. Um, it's just like a little cute aged pot with some greenery, which I think is perfect for spring because you can just put it like in little nooks and crannies, vignettes around your house just to add that pop of green that you need. And I think that these will sell really nice in my booth and also when I go to market. So I wanna create some of these in a couple of different sizes. Of course, I'm gonna put my own spin on it. So let's get started. All right, I'm gonna be working with these tiny pots now and I'm gonna be painting them. Um, like I showed at the beginning of the video, like this is my inspiration, the floral, and then it's got this kind of, it's a textured surface and it's got some different colorings in it. And those aren't the perfect colors in my opinion, but they're close. So these are the pots that I got. Um, I got these from the craft store. Um, I got mine at Hobby Lobby, but they have these at every craft store, including the dollar store. Um, these tiny ones were $3.49 for six. Um, this size was $4.99 for six. And then I did find some at the thrift store as well. I got these at Goodwill and they were $1.60 and I got six at six of them for that. So it's always good to look at the thrift store as well. All right, so I'm gonna be using some different paint colors. Um, I'm gonna be using DIY paint, which is a clay-based paint. It's nice and thick, so it's already set up to help us along with our texture needs. Um, this color is called Gypsy Green. Um, this one is Cowgirl Coral. And then I have Crinoline is like a creamy, buttery white. And then Weathered Wood it is this nice, uh, brown color with a gray undertone. I love this brown. And then crinoline is like this kind of creamy white, very nice white. I feel like those are going to work really well with our color scheme here. I'm looking for, I don't really want the yellow in here. That's why I'm bringing in these two colors. I'm wanting these as the undertone instead of the yellow, but I love the brown and then the little bit of the white on there. Um, so that's kind of what we're going for. And I've also got my salt wash. And this is a paint additive that you use to thicken up your paint. All right, and this is what this looks like. It's like, it's just like a powdery type of substance. You add it to your paint following the directions on the back. Um, I usually just wing it because this paint is thicker. It's going to maybe mix a little different. I don't know because I really don't use other paints that much. Um, so I'm going to mix it with my paint. So I'm just going to mix a little bit in here and I'm going to use the green and the cowgirl coral as my base color. And as you can see, this paint, I did not put the lid on well. It's already kind of thick. So I think that's going to help us out. So let's see here. Oh my gosh. This is really thick. Yeah. Um, see how thick that is? That is awesome. <laughs> I love this paint so much. This will work so good for texture. I am really excited about this. I don't think I need a bowl now. As you could see, <laughs> it's not something that needs to be contained in a bowl. So let's find something else. All right, I'm gonna use this get my paint down here one of the great things about this paint is if you if you love texture and like that is the effect that you're going for this paint is going to give it to you in spades this is kind of a chunkier piece here we'll save that for another project um, you can actually just like leave the lid off of this paint and leave it off off for a couple of days and it will thicken up like this and you can use it like you could finger paint it onto your projects. I mean, look at that. You can just finger paint it on <coughs> and add texture. It's amazing. So I don't think we need very much of this salt wash. I'm just gonna add just like a tiny bit like that. And then I'm just gonna mix it in and we're gonna get a nice thicker, thick, thick paint. And we're gonna start with that. I'm just cleaning off my finger here. <laughs> a 
Okay, so I have just like a chip brush that I'm gonna use for this. And just get the paint on there. And you wanna stipple it on because you want it to be peaks like that, like chunky, chunky peaks. So I'm just gonna do that all over. It doesn't have to be perfect coverage because we are gonna paint over it. This is just a base layer. And this paint, another amazing thing about this paint is that it is 100% natural, no VOCs. It only has, it has nine ingredients. This is like the most natural paint out there. So if you like painting in your living room, your dining room, on the kitchen counter, this is the perfect paint for you. There's not gonna be any fumes or anything that's gonna like harm your, your children or your pets or yourself. And I highly recommend this paint. It is amazing. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. And then we're gonna come in and play with our other colors, but look at the texture on that. Can you see it? It's actually been several days since I started this project because things happened and I had other stuff that I had to take care of. So what I wound up doing is I just covered my little palette here with my salt wash and paint with plastic and I put like a damp paper towel in there. And as you can see, it's still wet, but it got pretty dried out. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to that and kind of reconstitute it to the thickness that I would like so I can continue making these. That's one of the great things about DIY paint is that you can add water and reconstitute it if it dries out. As you can see, it reconstituted really well. So I'm just gonna continue doing this with um, probably about a quarter of my pots that, cause I wanna do a couple different colors, like I said. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing this with some of my pots. And then I'm gonna let them dry and then we'll start the next phase. All right, now that my little pots are all dry, I'm gonna be using the, the weathered wood, that's the brown, and I'm going to be going over the, um, the colored ones. And I what I did is I went and I took and I watered it way down. So I took um, maybe like one part paint to two parts water, and I'm gonna kind of see what kind of effect we get with that. Cause I want kind of just more of like a glaze on here. I think that'll look really pretty. So there's, there we go, that's what it's looking like with that. I like that. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's still wet. When it dries, it's gonna turn kind of like a chalky color. And then um, we're gonna sand it a little bit to bring out more of the green. And um, once, once DIY paint is sealed, because it's clay, it's gonna darken back up and that's gonna look really nice. Um, we do have one more color to go after this, so let's get our brown on everything and let it dry. I'm just going to take a piece of sandpaper, this is 220, and then I'm just going to sand back the brown and it's going to reveal the texture underneath that we got with the salt wash and the lighter color. And I think that looks great. I really, really like this look. So I'm gonna stop here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna seal it and then we're gonna be done. And um, I'm really happy with that look. It's not exactly the same look as our starter, but I really like the, the way it looks. So I'm gonna stop. if I like how these green ones turned out. The white and also the cowgirl coral. The, I don't know, I like the colors on that. They have like a little bit more life to them, but the green one is just kind of dull. And so I was thinking that it needs a little something more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a um, chip brush that's kind of pokey and I'm gonna use some white wax and I'm just gonna dip my brush in the white wax and then I'm just gonna stipple a little bit of white onto my, my green one. Just 
just add a little bit of texture that way and I feel like that gives it a little bit more life what do you guys think I like that more than just the plain green so I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna add at least most of the green I'm gonna add white to it I might leave a couple of them like this just to have like a little um a little something different but I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna add some white wax. And with the wax, if you don't wipe it back, it's just gonna dry like that. So you don't have to really worry about it being like weird or sticky or anything. The wax is just gonna dry and leave, leave it exactly how you've done it here. Okay, my pots are all done and now I'm ready to add my greenery. And so these are the, what I'm gonna be using to do the greenery. I have got some Spanish moss. I've got just like some greenery that I got at the craft store. I've got some of these um, floral blocks. And then I'm also gonna be using my hot glue gun. Okay, to add my floral blocks, what I'm gonna do is I'm just basically going to kind of, uh, I don't really need like it to be completely stuffed full. I just really need like more of like the center spot. So I'm gonna cut this in half and I just have like a, just like a knife that I'm using for this. And then I think I can get away with using half of this. So I just basically cut it into a corner. That's gonna fit down in there nicely. And so I'm just going to hot glue it down in and I think the easiest way to do it is just to put the hot glue on to the floral foam and then stick it to the bottom just like that. And then the next step is going to be to take our Spanish moss. This is very messy. So I suggest putting down like a piece of paper or something. So I'm just going to grab some of my Spanish moss and... I'm going to grab a chunk of it about the size that I need. That looks good. And I'm just gonna hot glue that in as well. Just like that. And then I'm going to stick it down in there. Real good. And then I can kind of fluff it a little bit. Um, once we're done, we can take the scissors and we can trim off the the parts that are sticking out that we don't like the look of. But I would suggest waiting on that because if you pull them, it can pull out like the whole chunk. Like look, here's a string and that just like made a mess in there. So don't just pull it. Let's just wait and we'll trim it with the scissors if we need to. So that is that. And then we're gonna take our greenery. And I got these actually at Hobby Lobby. They were half off. So I think that they were like $3, something around in that range. So I know I'm gonna be using all these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clip all of these off of the larger stem to make small stems. When you go to stick it in, remember that your floral foam is in the middle. So you wanna aim for the middle. Just push it down. And I think it needs about three of them to be nice and filled out. And I think this one I'm gonna go just a little bit shorter. All right. And we could twist them and turn them. Just make them look beautiful. I don't really like it. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is like life when you're a crafter. Like you really have to just play. I feel like it's too tall. What do you think? Like it needs to be more fluffy down here. So let's pull these out. And I'm gonna start over. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it here. So it's shorter and I'm going to do that on three of them. Actually, let's try two and see how it looks. So stick it in there. Oh, that's much better. 
See how it's closer? That looks so much better. And now let's try putting in the shorter ones that we cut off. Oh yeah, look, that's a nice fill. So we could still fill, use those. Oh my gosh, so much better. What do you guys think? How does that look? Isn't that so much better? All right, I also bought this floral. This one was a little bit more expensive. It was $9.99, but I got it half off, which is pretty easy to do at Hobby Lobby. All right, there is our second one. And like I said, we'll trim this. And what do you think of that? It's kind of hollow in the back. I think I'm gonna add one more little one right there. But what do you think? Is that cute? I like this color with the white. It's very pretty. enjoyed this quick craft video I hope you got some great ideas for things that you can make over in your house for spring um, if you like this video please make sure to give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already share out with your friends and I'll see you in the next video bye for now